Okay, today we have started with pretzel breadsticks. And we are going to also get barbecued tachos, which has barbecued pot roast, jalapenos, coleslaw, and nacho cheese piled on tops. We also got a cup of chili. And we got the famous Tweety Burger that we're going to split. Okay, the Tweety Burger is kind of their signature thing. Um, and each month they have a uh, Tweety of the Month. And this month it is Hot for Teacher Tweety. Back to school. It's August. And uh, this one's to toast the heroes that make it possible for us to get rid of our kids for hours a day, every day. This month's Tweety pays homage, homage to you legends. Here's an apple and a beer. So there's the uh, that Tweety of the month. They've got all kinds of things here, right? Chicken sandwiches, a tenderloin sandwich, um, fillies, cheese dog, chili cheese dog, fish stuff. I don't have chicken and waffles. Yeah, but I didn't want to get that one because it says chicken strips. It's not like, doesn't make me think, oh, they fried up some chicken and if there's a big chicken on it, you know? <laughs> I'd probably get syrup all over myself. That's true. And they have some greens. This is where we got the soup of the day. Wait, we didn't get the soup of the day. We got a uh, chili, just a small chili. And then they have desserts, deep fried Oreos, salted caramel pretzel bites, waffle sundae. And they also have breakfast items, served until 10.30 on weekdays and 2 o'clock on weekends. Lots of things here. All right. I'm excited. Me too. Okay, we got several appetizers, so we're going to start with these pretzel sticks and cheese. Um, it says on there that they deep fry them. Deep fry? Is that normal? pretzel sticks though and these are done really well super hot obviously the cheese is really yummy I think they are deep fried mm -hmm. delicious though like most things that are deep fried they do have um, <clears throat> paper towels on the table which I like it's always a good sign I'm a uh, sloppy Person. I love going to restaurants where they have paper towels. You can just you you don't have to have worry about getting all messy. Um, Charlie's uh, restaurant here has been here since the early 1930s, and year after year, it's always voted best burger. So that's why we wanted to make sure we got a Tweety Burger, uh, so we could show you what a Tweety Burger, just an original Tweety Burger, um, looks like and how it tastes. Um, because if you come here, it's your first time here, you definitely want to get a Tweety Burger. I think, don't you? It's kind of got a, a cheers type atmosphere. The people are all seem real happy. It's very relaxed and laid back. They definitely have regulars. They have reg yeah. Remember the first time we came here? The I think owner came up and introduced himself. The very first time we came here, the owner came up and uh, saw us sitting here, wanted to tell us about Charlie's and wanted to thank us for coming. It was really great because we just we just moved here. The Pepsi's here are really good. I just want to add that because I like a good Pepsi. It's like a Mexican restaurant. Pepsi. For some reason, Mexican restaurants are really good. Ballyhoo, uh, Ballyhoo Tavern uh -huh. had really bad it was, Pepsi. It was flat. Yeah. All their food was really good, but their Pepsi was just not. It was it was flat. It'd probably be okay if you had them pour some uh, booze in there. Yeah. But we just wanted Pepsi. Yeah, you probably wouldn't notice it as much. All right, 
So, first step, pretzels. Let's see what's next. These are tachas. This has uh, tater tots with uh, beef, hot roast, hot roast beef, I believe, and um, coleslaw and cheese. I'm gonna try that out. We also got our Tweety burgers and onion rings, which they split up on two plates for us, which is great because it's a lot of food. So you can share a Tweety with a friend. Great. That's really good. <laughs> That's the best burger I've had in a long time. I don't usually get burgers though. That's true. Half yeah. and half a burger is just perfect, isn't it? Really? Mm -hmm. It's very good quality beef. You do have to be 21 to eat here or to come inside. No children. No one under 21 is allowed. Onion rings. Are you supposed to dip onion rings in something? I don't. Do you eat your onion rings just plain like this? Or do you dip them in a sauce? Let us know. I'm trying to think what I would dip it in, but I, I like it. I like to dip it in something. You could dip it in the cheese. Mmm, <clears throat> cheese, yeah. Oh, we need to start on this, don't we? Mm -hmm. We've been to Charlie's several times before. Many times we've been here. Their meat is always. The it, it's why they win every single year best burger in Terre Haute. It is the best burger in Terre Haute. There's no question. That's really good too. So juicy. That burger is. If you want a good burger, just come here and get a Tweety burger. It's awesome. Tell me about this. How does it mm. how you feel about it? Mm. It also has jalapenos in it. It's delicious. Tachos. I think several times when we've gone to like the fair, they say, oh, they have tachos. Now I know, tater tot. Nachos. It's very good. Hot roast. Hot roast mixed with the tater tots. It's so, a hot roast with barbecue sauce. <laughs> Big bite. I'm so glad we got the tachos. I was nervous about it. It seemed like a whole lot of 
food going on here. <clears throat> it is. And that's why we got, we split the Tweety Bird because then you can have fun stuff like this. That beef. It's got a great taste. I like it. The, and then adding, it is spicy. Well, because I've been eating some of the jalapenos. Yeah, I love, I love jalapenos, so I've had a jalapeno with almost every bite. Pickled jalapeno. Yeah. But the uh, coleslaw um, helps to kind of cool it down a little bit and give it a little bit of crunchy, more crunchy. Although surprisingly, the tater tots are still crunchy. Sorry. Okay, so <laughs> Maybe we what? just. Sorry. When uh, leaving Charlie's Ooh. Pub and Grub, if you want, you can take this alley. Yeah. No holes it's or anything. Kind of fun. sailing. So, we just finished Charlie's Pub and Grub, and let's look at the receipt here. Two dollar Pepsi's, I think that's great, because sometimes they charge three or four dollars for just your Pepsi, and we, did, we got refills, they were at the table real quickly. Yeah, anything more than two dollars I find annoying. I think it's a little pricey. Pepsi. Six dollars for the... Um, Pretzel breadsticks. Pretzel breadsticks, which I love those. I love pretzel breadsticks, and they do them really well there. It's tasty. The uh, Tweety Burger is eight ninety nine. That comes with fries or tots, um, but we got onion rings. That's an upcharge of one dollar, which is fair. I know. think it was worth it. I like those onion rings. I did too. I also like their tots, but we already had the uh, barbecue tachos. So it would have been overkill. But seriously, $8.99 for that burger. The quality, really with, high quality. With fries or tots. Um, that's a very, very, very good value. It's a high quality burger. That's the main thing. The meat is very, very high quality. Uh -huh. Now they do, I, I'm pretty sure that they'll cook it to order. They didn't ask us how we wanted it done, which is fine because... Um, I, I was actually worried at first um, when I remembered that we didn't order it uh, medium or whatever because some places you they bring it out and it's just uh, super super dry. This was not dry. Juicy. Oh, I, so I'd good. say it was a medium well. Um, yeah, it was medium well and still super juicy. Yeah. Would I have liked it a little bit less? Yes, but we didn't ask. We didn't, you know. It was still delicious. I thought it, I thought it was perfect. Yeah. On, on burgers, I like it more than I like steak or something. On a steak, yeah. Okay. Barbecue tachos, seven ninety nine. That's a really good deal. I think That's so. A lot of food. We're also <laughs> coming home with a whole bunch of leftovers. The uh, breadsticks were really good. We only ate one of them because we knew that we would have food to bring home. I wanted to eat them so bad. Yeah. But, you know, that's the type of thing that warms up really well as a leftover. So then we have two meals mm -hmm. today. So, anyways, the grand total was... Chili. You said you really liked the chili because the meat was good high quality. <coughs> it was. It's the same ground beef that they use chili. for burgers. Sorry. I think they use ground beef in the chili. <laughs> yeah, the chili was uh, two ninety nine for a cup, That's and uh, the grand total was thirty three forty four. So it's a great deal. I think we got way more food than we needed. We could have shared a Tweety burger and onion rings and been fine. Yeah. So you can eat there two people for fifteen bucks if you're not like if you don't eat. Tons and tons of food, I guess. <laughs> but our goal was to try, when to try a whole bunch of stuff. For you. We're doing it for science. <laughs> and 
and now I think I'm going to go take a nap for science. Yeah. Thanks for coming along with us today to Charlie's Pub and Grub here in Terre Haute, Indiana. We hope you enjoyed our vlog. And if you have ideas of other places we could go, other food we should try in the Wabash Valley, please leave that in the comments. And we're going to try our best to go to that place and showcase some different foods there for you. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. On Hungry Hotions. Bye. Bye.